Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this episode, I want to talk about another common request, how to auto post the GL journal upon workflow approval. So what is the business requirement? Typically, we will set a workflow approval process on a GL entry. And every time when a user approves the journal, the requirement is Dynamics automatically post that GL journal instead of having user manually go back to the journal level and click that post a button. And in this episode, I will walk you through step-by-step step how we can set it up through a batch job. So we will break this into two steps. Number one, you will need to have a workflow available associated to your GL journal. And then every time when you come to your journal entries, you will have this workflow button available. So for you to submit for approval and then route it to different users. So this is designed on the workflow designer part. I'm not going into detail in this episode. I can do another one. If you want, feel free to comment down below. But let's assume now I have created a GL journal. It is approved. And actually I added this additional column called workflow approval status. So we can definitely use this as a criteria to let the system identify what are the GL journal entries ready for the auto posting. So this comes to our second step, set up the auto posting criteria. And to do that, we are going to use a batch job. So under GL module, you can see in the journal entries, we have this post the journal option. When I open this up, this is mainly used to mass post your journal entries, typically used for data migration process. Every time when we import multiple journals, you don't want to go manually one by one to post that. So you can use this post the journal option to trigger that posting once for all journals. So that's on the data migration side. Now, coming back to our workflow approval criteria, you can also use the same feature by defining the criteria so the system will pick up the relevant GL journals and then post it for you. So first, what you need to do is use this select to define the criteria. Now, this is the query table. So typically what we see is for this posted field, I'm going to set the criteria to no, meaning that the journal should not be in a posted stage. And then the other factor is we can define a journal type. So let's say um, for this specific auto posting, I want to apply to all the daily type of journal. Of course, you can define for your invoice or for other journal types, customer payment, but in my scenario, it's only GL related. So I'll use this criteria daily select. Since I'm not going to auto post a specific journal batch number, I'm going to remove this. So now I have defined two criteria. I need to add additional one based on the workflow status. So same thing in this field. When I open the drop down, I should be able to see additional fields for workflow status. Okay, so this is our last uh, option, workflow approval status. And that should be under approved stage. So that means my last user has approved, reviewed, everything is good to go. So these are the three factors you will need. So the system will pick up all the available journals, which are not posted, already approved, fall under this daily journal type, right? And it, this is really flexible for you to design in case you want to add additional criteria to refine the scope. It's totally possible. You can just add or remove and using different criteria. So now with that, we are ready to save this criteria by clicking on OK. All right. Next step, what we need is to define a batch job. That means I don't need to manually trigger this auto approval every time I come to the screen. All I need to do is to use this run in background and then set it through a batch job using recurrence. So defining your start date, time, your time zone. And in our scenario, we don't want it to end. So let's pick no end date. And the recurrence, so typically this batch job, depending on the volume or um, the approval process, you can set once per day. But for testing purposes, let's say I want to see the immediate result to make, you, to make sure it works. So in that case, um, we can pick one minute, every minute or every two minutes. And after the testing, you can put it back on daily basis. That's fine, up to the user preference. For now, I'll just leave it to one minute and then we can do okay. So that way you have your batch job running as well. So let's do okay. Now we can see the status is added to the batch. 
So next time when you create the GL journal entry and go through the workflow approval process, once this workflow approval status changed to approved, then you will see this journal gets auto posted. So this is a really a powerful tool to help automate the posting exercise, especially when the customer has a lot of transaction volumes and we want to reduce manual effort as much as possible. Right. And I do want to highlight a few caveats in case you're setting up this for the first time. So what I have experienced a uh, few issues is number one, for this to work, you will need to have your batch job set up correctly. So that means you can check here through the batch jobs and make sure you have the um, batch job server available. And then uh, for any issues, if it's not auto posting, then you can check the batch job details here and find your job description. So that's probably uh, it contains posts. And then from here, you can check the status, whether it's waiting or withhold. If this is withhold, then you have to change it to waiting. And then through this batch job history, it gives you more details on which batch job has run and then on what time and date, right? So now the status is ended. In case I have any open GL journals, it should pick it up and post. If not, you will see the status being error. So typically, if it's not posting and it's error out, very often it's due to the validation of financial dimensions or account structures. So you have to go back to your journal and fix that. Right. So now let me go back. And the other issue I commonly see is now I have the batch job showing waiting and it's already run uh, showing ended, but my journal is still not getting posted. So if that's the case, what you can do is open up this batch job. And the first thing you need to check is scroll down to find, to find this parameters and to check if your parameter setting is correct using the correct criteria and validate everything is as expected. So if that's the case, the other reason for this issue is you may have multiple batch jobs running at the same time for this post journals. Maybe you have tested other criteria for this post journals batch job and having three or four running at the same time. So the system kind of gets lost and not really sure what criteria should be using to post. So in that case, you will need to go back to your batch job history here in this list and you will see multiple post journals batch job available and you have to kill or change the status to withhold kind of put it on hold of all those non-relevant or deleted if you can just keep the only one valid running and then test out again so typically this will resolve your issue so this is on the workflow side right and the other use case is what if I'm not using workflow, but I still want to use that auto posting feature. So again, similarly, you can also use the user group. So we covered from a previous video. If you're interested, please check it out to talk about the difference between user approval group and the workflow approval. So, so this button approval is coming from that user group approval option. And then you also have the workflow option. So if you are not using a workflow for your GL entry, you can still use this auto post functionality. But in that case, let's say I'm using the user approval, this function. So for the auto posting criteria, you probably need to use another field as your criteria. So if I move to the right, potentially you can also use this field approved by as part of your criteria to let the system auto post this journal entries. So again, this is flexible for you to pick all the available fields to leverage that auto posting feature. All right. So that's everything I want to cover in this episode. Please feel free to leave comments and share your thoughts, subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.